Using dcontrol, I'll open up the 3D model files. I'll begin with the pipe itself. dcontrol is a slicing software included in Ysoft B3D ED. The Ysoft website always has the latest version of the software available for Windows and Mac if using your personal device or it should be installed on the school's computer. I can use dcontrol to open the CAD file or easily just drag and drop it into the dcontrol. You'll notice that the dcontrol displays the object relative to the size of ED's print area, called the print bed. This way I can see where to position the object and can make the model bigger or smaller as needed. Now, I will open up the other files by selecting Add Object Button. You'll notice that the final model has two end caps, so I'll copy and paste the end cap object to duplicate it. There, now I have the two end caps I need. I also need four pieces of the object that has the numbers on it. So I will quickly create three additional copies of that object. Now I have the nine pieces I need. It is important now to position the objects on the print bed so they don't overlap each other. I can either move the pieces by using my mouse to drag and drop, or I can use the XY coordinates. Here's a tip for you. To increase the print speed, position objects close to each other on the print bed. This minimizes unnecessary travel distance of the print head. I can also change some of the default settings. For example, if this is a first draft, I may not be concerned about print quality just yet. Or if the print job is going to run overnight, it might not matter if the print speed is fast. Typically, the default settings do not need to be changed. I can also indicate if supports are needed. Supports are areas that will be removed after printing, but are needed to support areas of the object while it is being printed. A standard support helps to support overhanging parts, similar to how scaffolding supports a building during construction. Other supports, called initial supports, are initial layers to help stabilize the model on the print bed. For example, a brim support adds layers around the base of the model to help it adhere to the print bed. A RAF support also helps in adhering to the print bed and is useful when the model has a small initial footprint and a larger size is layered on top. It uses more material typically and therefore can take longer to print.